The Consumer Price Index report for December out today shows annual inflation rose by 3.4%. That's higher than expected. Core inflation, that includes food and energy prices, rose by 3.9%. Joining me now is Ed Sedell, CEO and Chief Investment Advisor with EGSI Financial. Ed, welcome back. So inflation ticked up undermining the mainstream narrative that the fight against it is strong under Bidenomics. Uh, prices persist above the Fed's 2% target. Now looking back uh, with this historically high inflation not too long ago, everyday Americans, small businesses continue to struggle to afford essentials. That's food, housing, energy. Many racked up the plastic, credit card debt hit a record high, and then you factor in the high interest rates to pay off those credit cards. The jobs report seemed good recently, right? The government grew as government jobs really led the way in that report. Uh, is the economy, the economic picture here really as robust as the White House tells us? Well, thanks for having me back. And you know what? What, uh, what a great question, because uh, the short answer is no, it's not. Um, and, and we can see it because there's really two economies going on. It's it's the, you know, the, the, the disparity between the haves and the have nots keeps getting bigger and bigger. And, you know, it's Wall Street versus Main Street when it comes to, to the economy. I mean, we just talked about, you know, the um, uh, credit card debt. It's, it's you know, well over $1.3 trillion. 49% of Americans at the end of every month are using their credit cards to cover the gap between income and, and their necessities. So um, when, when everyone keeps talking about a soft landing and, and inflation is under control, um, inflation is here uh, and it's not going away because we continue to deficit spend. Well, we, we hit $34 trillion um, as, as far as the national debt. We're overspending about $4 trillion a year, a trillion dollars every quarter. That by itself is inflationary, not to mention the fact, you know, when we're adding jobs and their government jobs, that's an expense. And not only do we have their salaries, but we have their benefits, their government pensions. I mean, that's all inflationary. So, you know, when the experts are talking about uh, rates lowering as much as six, maybe seven times, I don't see it. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, the feds have already said probably three times, but maybe two. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if they actually raise rates a quarter percent um, uh, before they actually go back down. So we were talking about the credit card debt. You know, some of the interest rates are like 20%. So if you're owing like 10 grand on your credit card, that 10 grand is going to significantly increase. So people are just right. like in this constant loop of debt, just putting everyday essentials on, on the plastic. So I want to know why the mainstream narrative and how people feel don't add up. You know what? It's it's. Uh, I think people are getting confused between um, the market and the economy because there really is a difference. The the market in in investors as a whole, they're looking at it saying, okay, you know, as as rates are going down, and and the Feds have already predicted that they're going to lower rates three times. Uh, they they said it twice last year, uh, three times in uh, 2024. So the, the markets are pricing that in. And so that's that's why the market is is doing well, right? Uh, right now, I think we're at uh, uh, an all-time high for the Dow, uh, depending on what it closes at. Now, that's completely different than the economy. The economy is what everyone's feeling. That's pain at the pumps. You know, that's when we can't pay our power bills. That's when we're paying, you know, five and six dollars for a dozen eggs. Um, and, and that's really the difference. Um, when we look at what the average family in America is is spending per month just to be able to live, it's significantly higher. On average, it's uh, about 20% higher than it was just two and a half years ago. And that's a huge difference. Yeah. Well, the Fed has so far paused interest rate hikes. Uh, you briefly mentioned, you know, some of the rate cuts. There's talk of rates cuts coming right. this election year, right? So that seems good in the short term. Uh, in the long term, do you, do you have any economic concerns of the looming debt bubble, deficit spending, and the proxy wars? Yeah, I do. So, and I, I, I've been calling it this debt bubble for a long time. So, we, you know, I, I just talked about $34 trillion in, in national debt, but that doesn't even include the unfunded liabilities that we have. It's, it's roughly $65.9 trillion in unfunded liabilities for Social Security. And then when you add in the funding of uh, paying the interest on the national debt, 
Medicare, uh, as well as um, government pensions and defense spending, the CBO has estimated somewhere between 180 and 190 trillion dollars on top of the 34 trillion. So, and that's just the government debt. And then consumer debt is also at an all-time record high. So that's the debt bubble. I think in the near term, between now and the election, um, it's going to be bumpy, but we could be okay. But we also have to look at the broader view. You know what happens after the election. Because we need leadership in D.C. That, that's actually going to cut spending. We just passed a $1.9 trillion uh, budget band-aid, and the administration wants to actually spend you know, $3 trillion. So until we get spending under control, I mean, we're going to continue to have inflation. <laughs> yeah, uh, wishful thinking. Spending under control, what is that? Uh, Ed Sedell, Chief Investment Thanks. Advisor at EGSI Financial. Thanks for your time today. Appreciate it. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.